and it has been months since HISD was taken over by the state and local organizations like Voices for the Public Education are not giving up their fight. They are pushing for stronger policies in the school system. Organizers held a block walk today in Northeast Houston. They invited our Rochelle Turner to walk along with them as they spoke to parents. We visited a neighborhood on Providence Street in Northeast Houston where organizers say students are being impacted by the recent changes and library cuts. Hi, my name is Lisa and this is Vivek and I'm a retired teacher. On Sunday, volunteers with Community Voices for Public Education went door to door, informing parents about the Texas Education Agency taking over the Houston Independent School District. I didn't know that much about it. Sonia Medrano has a child in the district and fears what will happen. As part of the takeover, HISD is eliminating librarian positions at 28 schools and utilizing some of the libraries as team centers where kids with behavioral issues will be sent. Just don't want the students to use like punishment, libraries for punishment. I just don't want them to use libraries for that. The move comes as part of new Superintendent Mike Miles reform program called New Education System or NES. Currently, there are a total of 85 schools that have joined Miles program and of those 28 campuses will lose their librarians. The remaining 57 NES school librarians will be assessed on a case by case basis, according to the district. Well, it's it's horrifying literally horrifying. Lisa Robinson is a former teacher and librarian with HISD. She knocked on doors in a community where students are zoned to Wheatley, Pew and McReynolds High Schools and are being affected by the new policies. They will go down to having virtually no books to read. There might be a few in classrooms. I don't know. I don't know if there will be or not. But without having that central school library, they are missing out on a huge component of literacy development. Some educators feel like schools are falling apart and had a message for Superintendent Mike Miles. Listen, listen to parents, listen to teachers, stop ignoring us. As part of today's block walk, organizers encourage parents to sign a petition opposing the state takeover. They will continue their fight and visit different communities every other Sunday. Reporting in Northeast Houston, I'm Rochelle Turner, KPRC 2 News.